Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to magnify a certain area of a video clip. So I couldn't actually find a tutorial for doing this on my own on the internet. So I thought I'd make my own. If there is a better method to do this, please let me know. And uh, what I'd like to be able to achieve is to be able to magnify this area here, which contains the frame rate for this game clip. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to be able to achieve this effect. So that's where we've got this frame rate counter enlarged. And I want to be able to apply this to this corner of this GTA 5 clip here. So basically what I'm going to do is to go into Fairlight first. So uh, firstly we have to have our clip kind of highlighted here. So the, the first one under this play header will be the one that's selected under Fairlight. And this is the clip that I want to enlarge. So what I do first is um, we've got our media in and media out. And basically I want to add a uh, transform here. So I brought, what I did was I pressed Control Space to get this. And then I'm going to add my transform XF here. And basically, I'm going to now add a rectangle. So the rectangle is where the uh, magnification will actually appear. So I want it to kind of uh, go over this corner here, like so. Not too big, something like that. Doesn't matter if it clips over the edge. And then, um, so that's my rectangle and that's my transform. So what I'm going to do is to increase the size of the transform. So basically what this is doing, I'm going to put this to four. So four times bigger. And basically what that does is that it makes the image uh, that I'm magnifying here four times bigger. And basically what we have to do is figure out how to get our top left corner back to where it was. So basically what I normally do is I take my mouse and then hold down on the left mouse button and then I find the left corner here then I'm going to use my right mouse button to um, scroll down, oh, scroll up the other way so I'm, I'm moving my mouse left to move the the box at the back up and then I can find my FPS counter here um, I'm going to make this a bit wider so I can see the full counter and then basically now I can see my frame rate correctly on the screen. It's all appearing properly now. So I can actually track this because this is a, basically a 1080p video. Um, in theory, I should be able to see this on a smartphone if I'm looking at it on a phone. So that should achieve my goal. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you do know a better way to achieve this effect, then please let me know. I'm a complete DaVinci Resolve noob. Um, please leave a comment, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.